of the biggest challenges of developing the Nelson River was coming up with a way to efficiently transmit electricity produced in the north to southern Manitoba, where the demand was, a distance of over 900 kilometers. It wasn't until the 1960s, with the advent of advanced high-voltage technologies, that a solution was found. High Voltage Direct Current Transmission, also known as HVDC, has the ability to transmit large amounts of power over long distances, with lower line losses than alternating current systems. Construction costs were also lower, as HVDC systems only use two conductors instead of the three needed for alternating current. However, the need to build a converter station at each end of the line reduced these savings. The system works like this. Electricity is generated in alternating current at kettle, long spruce, and limestone generating stations. Transmission lines carry that power to Radisson and Hende converter stations, where it is converted into direct current. The DC power flows south on two 900-kilometer HVDC transmission lines, bipoles 1 and 2, that operate at 450,000 and 500,000 volts respectively. The lines terminate at the Dorsey Converter Station northwest of Winnipeg. Here, the DC power from the Nelson River is inverted back into alternating current and fed into the provincial grid for distribution to customers. Construction of the system began in 1968, and the first direct current transmission on Bipole 1 took place in 1971. Bipole 2 went into service in 1978. Today, the Nelson River HVDC system carries more than 75% of all electrical energy used in the province, making it the backbone of Manitoba Hydro system. Future requirements will see the addition of another HVDC line, Bipole 3, and two more converter stations, Kiwatanu and Rial, to provide additional transmission reliability and capacity to the system.